conflict in a relationship hi my name is Salwa Sizi and I am your ultimate relationship and sex coach in South Sudan conflict in relationships Wow, this is something that um, we need to really talk about because uh, many people everybody almost everybody who is in a relationship will go through a series of conflict okay this is just a normal part of a relationship you know um, the issue with us people is that society raised us up to think that when you're in a relationship you're not supposed to have conflict at all you're not supposed to have arguments you're not supposed to disagree you're not supposed to have disagreements and if you do have those then that means you haven't found the right person well that is nothing but a lie from the pit of hell you know there is no way you can be in a relationship with someone and not have conflict okay this is pairing two people with two different personalities two different upbringings two different backgrounds different perceptions different expectations different way of life you know you all have differences so by the time you put these two people together you're definitely gonna have some conflict okay because you're gonna bump heads you're gonna disagree on some things the other person is gonna think oh the way to do things is this is the way to do things right and the other person is gonna say otherwise you know so you're always gonna bump heads now that shouldn't make you feel like oh if we're having so many disagreements or we are having so many conflicts then this is maybe not the right person to be with that is not true because take for instance each and every one of you watching this you have had disagreements with your brothers with your sisters you have actually had disagreements with your parents okay now did you sit down to think for a minute that maybe they are not the right people to be in your life not at all family members have conflict so don't expect that being in a relationship with someone shouldn't consist of conflict conflict is inevitable it is something you cannot avoid but that shouldn't make you feel that okay having conflict means it's not just the right place for me to be no but when conflict arises make sure you're listening make sure you take the time to think about what it is you're actually fighting about what the what the disagreement is all about and learn from it you know conflict in most cases is how we get to learn about our significant other because let's be fair you might think that the person you're with right now, it's daunting. The relationship is kind of daunting because you're fighting a lot. You're disagreeing a lot. But you will actually find out that as you leave that relationship and move on to the next one, you're going to have the same issues there. You're going to fight. You're going to disagree. You're going to have um, so many other issues going on. You know, So running from one relationship to the other does not solve the problem you have to tackle the problems you have in your relationship hands-on you know find out what the problem is and find solutions for them if it's communication then find a way to communicate properly with your partner you know but I need you to remember that conflict is just a normal part of a relationship it's gonna happen today it's gonna happen tomorrow it's gonna happen in the future you know, it is something that you cannot control. You, you have, have no control over conflict, but you have control over how you deal with it or how you respond to it or how you fix it. You both play a part in helping yourselves out and helping yourself tackle the conflict you have in your relationship. So with all that said, thanks for listening. Thanks for staying with me to the end. Um, I hope you have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on all my social media platforms. Thank you. See ya.